Hello and welcome to this H11 Apprentice video. Today I will be showing you how to draw, uh, build a GWR Manor Class locomotive. We will be making this in BR Black. Today we will be doing the first video, the wheels. So here we have the main driving wheels and here we have the back bogey, I mean the front bogey, sorry. So. I will show you the pieces we are using today. So let's start off with the front bogey. So we are using first two normal train axles, a four times eight base plate, two four by two base plates. Then we have four uh, small wheels with rims round, and then we have uh, a one times two pin. Um, Pinhole, pinhole connector, and that can either be four black, four grey, two black, and two grey, or any other or any colour that is dark. Today I do not have enough pieces of black, so I am using grey. Now we will move over to our power functions. So, controller. Anyone needs that driver train? Then we have our four times eight battery box our Lego transmitter and our Lego M motor. So let's move over to the main parts for this train. So let's start with our cogs. Large grey cog. And we have our medium beige cog, half cog, then our small black cog. Now we move on to the thicker bricks we have. So we have our two times two brick and then a two times four brick. Now let's move on to our one time uh, one thin bricks. So here we have a two pinhole connector uh, uh, two pinhole one times two brick. We need two of those in grey. Then we need one of them in red like this. Then a one hole connector uh, pin it, uh, one times two brick in grey, and then t two um, one times two with pin connectors, either in black or brown. Now we'll move on to our thin pieces. We have a one times ten, two, two uh, another one times ten. Then we have seven one times two thin bricks, and then an angled uh, two times one piece. Let's move on to our bases now. So we have a four times ten base and a four times two, then a four times four base and a four times eight base. Now let's move on to the bigger bits we have. So here we have our one times ten pins, two of those. And then our, we need six big wheels with con um, connect pins for, piston, for pistons. We need six of those. And three normal train pins. One small grey pin. Um, axle. Sorry, I meant to say axles. We're now using our axles. A uh, uh, small grey pin and a tiny black pin. So, let's start building. So we'll start with our front bogey. So let's start with our pin connectors. Let's get two side by side like this and put a four times two brick on top. There you go. And you do that the set you do the same with your other one. One goes one, two. Now get your four times eight brick and put them above both of your wheel places. So now we get our axle and slot it through. You put one on this side and the other on this side. Now let's test it on the track. Nice smooth running is what we want. Yeah, might need a little further up. Here we go. And a lovely one, lovely. Now, 
go with the same the other one. Pin through. Uh, axle through, sorry. That one goes one wheel. And on goes the other. Go on there, and it should run. It has to run really smooth. Lovely. So let's let's put that aside for now. So now we shall start with the main book. So we use our simple four times two and a four times ten. So let's put them here. Now we get our two one by ten bricks, and we put them on either side of our four times two, looking like this. And then we add our four times ten. Then we get two of our one times two and put them in the gap at the end. Sorry about that. Now, we get our 1 times 10 pins. We get them on both sides. Then we grab our little brown or black pin connectors and put them in the gap, like so. That's our first bit of the bogey done. Now, like with our small bogey, you get the axle. Now for this one, you have to put it right at the far end. Right at the far end. So the last hole. And you put the wheel on one end. And make sure that the point, um, point space is exactly the same on the other side. So on that side, and I turn over. Exactly on the same side. Let's test it on the track. Lovely and smooth. Now we do the same for the next one. And we have to find the middle hole. So there should be a small space between each wheel. Like so. We put the wheel on the other side, making sure it's the same with the pin connect. And we test it on the rails. It's a bit too thin. Let's try a thicker out. Lovely now, that is lovely. Now, with our last wheel, this is a bit different. So, we start with the axle, but we also have one of our um, small gears, or cog, so our half cog. So while we place it, while we're placing it in, we put in the small cock, and we push all the way through. So just like with all the other wheels, then we add the wheel on each end, and make sure it's the same piston. Bit. Sorry for that. And that done. Let's test it on the rails. They work lovely. Maybe that needs a bit more pushing in. Or out. There we go. Lovely. They all work lovely now. So now we get on to our power functions. So for this we just need the end motor. So. Let's start building. So. We get a. Our. More one pin hole, put a one times two underneath it, like so, and put that close to our small cock. Now we get our other half cock and get our small grey axle and insert them like that. We take off the grey one and slot it through. So it should look like that. Then we add our black cog right on the end. So it's exactly touching the other grey. And we slot that in so it fits nicely 
with our other cog. Let's just test this out. So I turn this wheel, as you can see, it turns all the cogs. Now, that just needs a bit of test. Yeah, that's perfect. So we have all wheels done. Now, with our one times two here, you put one on either end. So one there, get our other one and put it on the other end. And we do the same for the other side. One there. But not using those bricks. We use the angled pieces now. So they go round like that. So it looks like that. So now we get our thick four. Put one on that end and the other on the other end. And then you get your two times two and just put them above. Like so. so now we have a space between the two things where we put our motor. So get your red two pin, one times two piece, and put a black uh, one times two underneath and slot it in. Just between the small space between these between these two wheels. Now we attach our um we sorry we put down our bogies for later and we get our small axle and place it inside the motor and place our big cog on top. Now slot that in the small black cog you we had we already have in the mechanism. Like that. So it's hovering above. Now, where you see we have our small space here with our, where we put our one times two one pin hole, we put two of our um, one times two two pin connectors in and put that in there. And we get our last one by two, put it on top. We are nearly done with stage one. Now we get our base plates and put them on top. We have then completed it well. We have now completed both plates. Now, so that is the wheels for the grain for the um, manifold. Now let's test it out. I will just test it out from the battery box. Connect. Now all power, when you're driving a train, it must come from the back wheel. So we press the green button, and it's working lovely. What I cannot show you was it is encased, but... Let's test it on the track quick. It has still some weight issues, but we can fix that later. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching part one of our video. You should now have our front bogey and main drive wheels. Thank you for watching.